Where is he? I lost him. He's in the path, Zach. He's right there, right where you put your hook. Put your hand right in that area. Yeah. The sandhill biomes here in South Mississippi are home to many unique species. And with the heat index reaching over 100 degrees today, we're almost certain to run into some of the most heat resistant animals around. Right above your hand. That's the best way to catch these lizards. Little prairie lizard, fence lizard there. Really spiny species. These guys do really great in this heat too. They're a very adaptable species. They're a pretty common lizard. You'll see them around your houses. Really in kind of any well-kept pine area, they're a common species to see. This is a little female. You can kind of tell by looking at the belly. They're just kind of a different looking lizard all overall from the males. A little bit lighter in coloration. They're gonna be hanging out on these little trees like this, eating little tiny bugs. Once again, they prefer to eat little tiny stuff. Cute little lizard, they kind of got a similar appearance to bearded dragon. So a lot of people would look at this lizard and go, oh, look at that, it's a little bearded dragon looking thing. They're one of my favorite lizards, honestly. Our target. Oh, it's a male, this is perfect. I'm gonna try to catch both of them. What good timing you have, little buddy. What good timing. Have a look at that. Now you can see the difference when they're next to each other like that. And look at that bright blue belly. That's something that they would be doing to show off to attract a mate. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> yep. See that? I was just telling y'all how different they look. And I heard that little guy back there. I thought it was a racer runner. But you can see, stop trying to bite. As you can see, the males are a bit more aggressive. Watch, I'll let him bite me. Yeah, see? They do have a pretty hard bite compared to like animals and stuff, but uh, yeah. Look at that, a male and a female, eastern fence lizard. There you go, bud. All right, and then you go back on yours. Look how camo that lizard is. So far, we've been able to film pretty much every single lizard species in this area, but there has been one that's evaded me for years, racer runners. These lizards are actually pretty common, so why haven't we caught one? That's why. Time. Oh, after time. He's in the path, Zach. GG. Dang, the suckers are fast. These lizards have evaded me, but today will be the day I catch one. Where'd he go? Darted across what the. Do you mean? Darted across the. I was looking at him, I was wondering what, what you were doing. Nah, like, where'd he go? Right over there. The best way to catch these animals is to have one person distract the lizard while the other one actually grabs it. So my dad is going to be the distractor for these next attempts. Me and him have been catching lizards ever since I was little, so there is no chance we miss. Move up just a bump. I can't see it, so if I move it might be unproductive. <laughs> it's unproductive either way. <laughs> Correction. There is a slight chance that we can still miss. Okay, I see you. Be very still. I'll chase him. Be ready at yeah. the. He's right there. He's, He's right there. Moving. Right where you put your hook. Don't move. Put your hand right in that area. Yeah, I'm ready. If he stays along with me. Don't move. Good. That was a good catch. Got him. Good job, sir. Appreciate you. That right there is a little six-line racer runner. The hardest little lizard to catch. 
here in the south. That is the literally the reason we have not filmed these guys. They are a two-person job to catch. What you just saw is how you catch these guys. They're a lot more similar to your lizards out west. They're a super fast little whiptail species. There are only whiptail in this region actually. Now you can see why they call them a six-line racer runner because they've got one, two, three, one, two, three little lines and then they've kind of got like a big solid middle line but they just refer to them as a six-lined racer runner. These are a really cool sandhill species. They're gonna be living in these sandhill areas, dunes. This is where you're most likely to see one of these lizards. Is like on a dune, whenever you go to the beach, like off of the boardwalk, they'll be running around. And they are just a fast lizard. This is a decent sized one, this would be an adult. They do get probably about twice this size, but this would be considered an adult six-lined racer runner. They've got kinda of got that alligator lizard look. They're not really similar to really any of the other lizards out here, fence lizards, you know, you got your skinks. They're not a skink, even though they look it a little bit. They are very rough, not a smooth lizard at all. This is really cool, because it's kind of that last common species that we've had to film here, and I've just never been able to film them, because they're just so quick. Look at that little dude. Yep, and that is a little male. Got a big old bulky head on him. Not very inclined to bite, but some of them will bite. They've got a pretty tough bite, actually. And you're gonna see them for like half a second, dart in. And the best way to get them is to have one person sit still and just wait. And the other person chasing to them. We kind of cheated a little bit by using that big thing. And I just waited for them. My dad chased them straight to me. And it was a perfect deal. It's also got a bit of a green tinge to them. They can look kind of different depending on where you go. But this is just a really cool species that we have in the southeast. Because we don't really get a lot of this kind of lizard. They're mostly going to be out here eating little bugs. Ants are actually one of their favorite things. They'll go along these little dunes and just grab up little tiny things. They're not going to be eating super big bugs most of the time because there's just so much microscopic stuff around here that it's not very hard for them to get a full belly quick. And their main predator out here would be coach whips. Coach whips love to eat these lizards. It's one of their favorite meals and they are both incredibly fast. Coach whips will chase after these guys and these guys are really fast so typically it ends up with this guy going down a burrow and the coach whip following them and getting them that way. Well it took a good few attempts but we did finally get our six line racer runner. What a cool little guy. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out some of the other lizards that we filmed here in the south. We will see you guys next time. All right, time to let this little buddy go. All right, see you little buddy. Watch how fast he goes. Woo!